Hi there, this is Mike of Nearly Enough Dice, and this is part two of the Escape Velocity Test. Uh, yeah, on Kerbin Space Program. So basically, I spent uh, so much time faffing about making the thing and deciding what uh, tests I was going to do and all that kind of stuff, that basically it's time to go. Um, so I decided to make this into two parts. So let's go. Let's turn on my... my SAS, because I always forget that. And go for launch! So the first thing I need to check is at what point my small gear bay is ready. So this booster section here is going to take me up to about 11k at which point I'll start doing my uh, very crude gravity turn which I do very very crude gravity turn And then um, I'm going to wait until that all clicks over. Oh, I might theoretically go too fast. That could be annoying. I'm going too fast. It's fan bloody tested. That was not something I thought of. So I might be hauling some stuff in space that is not I'm not going to be able to test because I might be going too fast. And I actually don't want to slow down. Oh well, that's annoying. Well, hmm. how quickly would I get to where I want to be? No, not going to work. I'm going too fast, so I will have to make a separate test rig for that. Um, or chuck it on the space plane. Um, I actually can't make space planes at the minute. Um, right, well, let's take a few things. I can't make space, space planes at the minute because I don't have any gear bays. Um, but that's giving me a fake gear bay, so there we go. So I want that to go to above 90. So I can't do that one. Um, but I might be able to do this one. Oh, you need to turn on my trackball. There you go. Um, So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly grab my LV1 thing and I'm going to chuck it down here. So that's going to be the next thing that gets staged. And when that goes over, what, 8800? Might as well aim towards the horizon because that's where I'm next going. Let me quickly check that. I am in fact going to go over 800. Eight, eight, eight yeah. Ah, so I can stage that and get that one at least. And that didn't work. Hurrah. And I hit space again, which I did not want to do.
Oh well, never mind. Um. Uh, well, other than just trying for an escape orbit, which isn't going to happen. Uh, I don't have parachutes on this thing, so that's lost anyway. I hate it when I hit space when I shouldn't. So I might as well just go for the burn. Um, maybe I'll hit it and maybe I won't. So all I can do is see if I can get into an escape velocity. Um, I almost certainly will not. Very unlikely to even get into orbit. So I have I have screwed this up, ladies and gentlemen. I have I have failed myself and I've failed you. And I've failed Kerbin. Yep. Um that is really aggravating. Uh, so I don't think I can do the small um, gear bay test on this rig because I actually go too fast. And I might have been there. All right, I'll, I'll try again. Um, there's no point, I can't do the small gear bay on this particular rig, so that's fine. Um, see, I'm not sure whether, I mean, I, I, I thought that it was one of the ones where you, you so sometimes um, in order to um, I just love it, I'm very far away for some reason. Um, sometimes you need to do it's it's staging you need to do, and sometimes it's run test, and that seemed to be a run test one. Do you think that you can actually do this from very far away? I don't, there's no particular reason to not do it from very far away. Right, so I can do that one. I just have to remember to not hit spacebar at a stupid point. Speed up very slightly, but not too much. Because last time I did this, the whole thing just fell apart. Well, I don't always forget to throttle up, but I forget to throttle up quite often. So I should probably put shoots on that thing, because it probably will succeed. It will, will probably get to where I want it to get to. So I wonder if I should not just... No, no, I should... I should, should I just keep burning, but... So I need that to get to above... Uh, 90k. That'll probably do. I need to get, you know, I need to get to two, um, just over eight, eight, 80k. Um, so although I'm, I'm losing some uh, to the, some, you know, apoapsis to the atmosphere, 
actually not that much. I don't think it's going to be enough of a problem. There we go, we're now in space. Right, so what we're going to do is going to do this and then run test. And that was what I needed to do. Alright, oh, okay. Um, so now it's going to be can I can I achieve escape velocity with the with what I've got. So I'm just going to aim at um, prograde and go for it. And I'll either make it or I won't. So I might as well, I'm just going to put this there and see if it'll... Why? Oh, I'm not doing that one as well. I'm looking at that and so why don't I count as flying? I don't count as flying and having the small gear assembly, which is what is what I don't care, count as. Right, so now I'm going to escape orbit. So move that down to there. That didn't work. How extraordinarily annoying. Why didn't that work? Why did that not work? Well, I'm just going to send it on its way. I don't really care anymore. So after all, I only only actually got one of my tests done. That's really that's a good aggravating. Um, it's a bit profligate. I'm just sending it off into orbit. I'm just sending it off into the unknown for no good reason at all. Um, I don't know why that didn't count really find that aggravating when I don't know why. Um, I hit the staging but nothing seemed to happen and then I had to hit decouple. I don't know why that occurred. I'm just going to hit a board. Oh, space center. Oh, somewhat anticlimactic. Of course, now I've hit Space Center. I don't have any option. I've actually, I've decided I could have reverted back and, 
and try it again, but now I can't. Um, but I did get that one. So I got some science. I got some, I got quite, a, quite a bit of money actually. So now, um, the reason I can't do space planes is that I didn't have enough science. Um, I got the aero aeronautics one, aerodynamics, which gives you like wings and connect tails and tail fins and engines and oh lovely things, but it does not give you actual bloody wheels. What gives me actual actual bloody wheels? That gives me actual bloody wheels. Landing gives me actual bloody wheels. So we are going to research that. So now I can make space planes. Um, why did that not work? That's what I want to know. I want to know why that didn't work. Oh, those are targets, and you know what? Okay. Well, they're actually quite close together. If I could get a rover near there. Hmm. Oh, again, the, okay, these are also targets. I thought those were... Yeah, my various things. Um, terminate. Oh, Kevin just minimized. And now it's back. Okay, cool. Adventure camera. Yeah, anyway. Well, there you go, that's slightly depressing. <laughs> but I can now make space planes. Um, uh, let's make a space plane, maybe. That was worrying. Some flooding going on there. Um, let's make a space plane. This is going to crash horribly, but I'm, I'm going to be able to make a space plane with wheels. So I'm going to make a space plane with wheels. I'm going to launch it, and it it will go horribly wrong, but that'll be funny. So there you go. So I now have a lot of extra aerodynamic parts. Um, and I've got, um, what do I, no, what do I, what do I, do, 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 do. yeah, I want, uh, an intake. I think. Or maybe what I actually just want is... Liquid fuel fuselage. And it's not an irradial air intake. Put some more fuel on it. Uh, there's a tail thing. Simple aerodynamic tail for aircraft designed to fit onto all standard attachments. This part is the embodiment of let's fly. Right. 
Had a swept wing. Maybe that's, uh, I don't know, that doesn't feel right to me. Telfin! Structural wing type A. Type B. And then an elevon on the back of that. Okay, let's go for two. Sorry, I've forgotten to put an engine on the bloody thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gonna do is I'm gonna chuck another gonna grab the tail fin. I don't know what these wind connectors I'm not, I'm not quite sure what the wind connectors are for. Um, I'm gonna put another fuselage on another fuel tank of fuselage on. Literally I mean literally because I, I just think jets should be about this size. Um, So, I need to look at things like center of thrust, center of mass, and center of lift. Now, actually, if I remember correctly, I want the center of lift to be back the way a little. Maybe not quite so much. Oh, if only there was. Is there an alt undo? Can you put no. Then I guess a utility, I think. So we're going to try and have a, a gear at the front. And we'll have someone, an another two at the back. <laughs> this is going to explode horribly, I'm sure. Um, and we'll launch it. I should check to see if I need to upgrade my launch, my uh, runway actually. Okay. Um, might be a bit back heavy. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so might need to look at my where my wheel placement is compared to my center of mass. 
Uh, where's my center of mass? Center of mass is quite far back. Let's move the wheels back. And we'll also chuck. Can I chuck an Elevon? What I should do is I, ha I should have a quick check of what what the control surfaces are going to do if they are in fact going to do anything. Yeah, seems the control surfaces do nothing. Oh no. Right, so I, although I've got um, I've got a bit of control, but not very much. I don't think I can go left and right. No! <laughs> we have lived off very briefly! Um, that never happened. Um, I want to make that clear. Never happened, never happened, never happened, no, 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 no. Don't, don't know what you mean. That never happened. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> I'm having far too much fun with this. Um, I need to go look up some tutorials, I think, on uh, space planes. Um, oh, you can change. You can change what they do. I'm gonna have to look up. I'm gonna have to look up space planes. Um, although that was rather fun. So, um, thank that was part two of all this nonsense. So, thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and share and all that kind of stuff if you have been. Uh, you can also find us at www.nearlyenoughdice.com, which is our role-playing game-themed podcast and blog. Yeah, so until next time, um, remember to always reach for the stars.